Hey everybody, this is TJR. Three advanced tracks for the 50th anniversary re-release of Abbey Road just dropped on the internet today. Today we got three different versions of the song Something, written by George Harrison. This includes Something Studio Demo, Something Take 39 Instrumental Strings, and Giles Martin's 2019 remix of the final album version. We also got news of the different configurations that will be available when this 50th anniversary edition releases on September 27th. And by the way, this video will only be my reaction to the advanced tracks. I will discuss my thoughts on those many different configurations in a separate video. I'm going to start with the track entitled Something Studio Demo. Now I realize that demos are not everybody's thing. Personally, I love hearing the Beatles demos, and I even listen to a good majority of them for enjoyment as much as I do for analytical reasons. Not to mention that hearing demos enables me to find a closer bond to the artist's creation. Now, I'll admit this demo is a bit rough around some of its edges, and yet it had me thinking that it had really great potential. And when I use that word, I mean potential as in a kind of launching point for what could potentially have been a more ethereal alternate version of this song, something that the Beatles could have potentially made. In fact, hearing it inspires me to take a crack at recording that particular version myself. I doubt that I ever will get around to it, but who knows, maybe someday. Now next is something, take 39 slash instrumental strings. Now since this track is about 20 seconds shorter than the album version, I will guess that this is a separated from the rest of the band track and not a potentially considered for release instrumental recording. But I'm not saying this doesn't work for me. It does. There is a very haunting quality to how it opens on the descending scale just before George Harrison's signature guitar lick. When I listen to this recording, I think, and I want to repeat, I think I can hear some very small bleed over of the rest of the band. This is very faintly in the background. Perhaps it's coming off the headphones of some of the orchestra players, who knows. I could be completely wrong about this and maybe imagining the whole thing, but I would ask anyone else, can you hear it too? In spite of this, I found this to be one of the more enjoyable demo slash alternate take Beatle tracks that I've heard. This brings us to Giles Martin's 2019 remix of the album version of the song. So one of the first things I notice is that opening cymbal swell that Ringo plays at the beginning. He's probably using mallets so you don't hear the sticks ping. And in comparison to the 2009 remix, it really feels like I'm right in front of that cymbal when I hear it. In fact, when that swell first comes out of the speaker, I can almost feel like it's coming towards me in a way that I couldn't with the original. The next thing I noticed was just how much more, how shall I say, quote unquote, real the strings sounded. Now, I remember thinking that the 2000 remix sounded great back in 2009, but in 2019, I would have to say that those same string tracks sound like synthesizers when compared to this new remix. In addition, I also like how a lot of the more subtle aspects of the organ tracks have been brought out in the mix as well. I'm not saying these organ tracks overpower or dominate, they don't. Instead, they just make their presence known at different points during the song's arrangement. And just like my comments regarding that cymbal swell, the organ does feel more, quote unquote, in the room. Based on this one advanced track, I would say that overall, I'm happy with this remix. It bodes well for the rest of the album, and it makes me just that much more anxious for September 27th to get here. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. If you like this video and want to see me continue to make more videos like this, please pay the price by clicking subscribe, click like, and click that bell notifications icon so you can know when I release more follow-up videos. Very soon you're going to see some suggested videos overhead. I personally want to recommend the video I made a while back entitled That Time Batman Met the Beatles. It's one of my favorite videos that I've ever made. And I don't think it's ever gotten the love that it deserves. Check that one out. And if you'd like to show that extra support and just really help me making videos, 
please consider becoming one of my patron supporters. Patrons not only get early access to selected videos, they also get exclusive behind the scenes material as well. Plus I'm cooking up other little extras for them too. Thanks everybody for watching. Looking forward to checking out your comments. Bye-bye.